What's going on guys, it's your boy Avionics back again with another Jada Toys action figure review. Now if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and ringing that notifications bell. Alright, so we've taken care of Dalsam yesterday and then Ken a few days before that and now we're moving on to M. Bison of the Jada Toys Ultra Street Fighter 2, the final Challengers action figure line. Now. Um, I did get lucky here in Las Vegas as I meandered into uh, a local Target, what was it like two days ago, and I just so happened to find Dalsam and M. Bison, one of each remaining left on the shelves on a weekday morning. So yeah, so now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the figure and give it a good review. So here is M. Bison in the packaging, looks great through the, the clear window sides of the box as usual top of the box nothing much nothing much changing but here is a UPC barcode for those of you who are on the hunt for M Bison at your local targets and then on the back side the uh, image of our M Bison action figure above the player select screen all right so let's go ahead and open them all up so the cardboard insert is a cut down version of M. Bison's stage. Highland! That huge bell. So, you know, it's great to um, have it and keep it as a uh, backdrop for displaying M. Bison alone. I wish they'd come out with like a, a larger fold out version um, so we can have a few characters standing in front of each of these uh, backdrops. And it does come with a little card uh, instructions on how to remove and install the shoulder pads on M. Bison, so that's good to know, good to have, good looking out, Jada Toys. Alright, everything all laid out in front of us, the M. Bison figure and all of his accessories, so let's go ahead and move on with reviewing the accessories, starting with the heads. He does come with two heads, let's go over the first head, which is attached to the body, and this is his neutral expression face. And yes, very arcade accurate, nice paint uh, with that, what is that, what kind of red is that, like a burgundy red maybe? Down to the nice painted gold uh, wing emblem on that uh, like military style cadet hat, nice blue paint and there is like texture as you can see going on, all the way down to the black bill, very nice, all white, whited out eyes, although I did see in some photos that he uh, has like, so, some photos have the black dot pupils on, but yeah, very good. So that's the, uh, that's the first head sculpt. And then the second one, it has more of an expression to it, which is you know, most likely his fighting, fighting face. And here you can kind of see his pupils, but they're not painted black, but a great sculpt all the way around. I don't see anything wrong with, or any defects whatsoever. Good job on Jada Toys for all of that. And then he does come with two pairs of hands. He's got the uh, the fists that are on him, close fisted, right and left. And then he has these two hands that show more, a little bit more expression, the right one, and uh, knuckles all bared out. So that, that right one, and then here is the left. So same exact thing, just the opposite. There we go. And then moving on, we have shoulder pads that don't have his uh, cape attached. And uh, taking a closer look, you can actually see that they are marked. This one says R to put on the right side, so that's nice. It'll let us know that which side it goes on. And then here it has a the letter L right there and these are a nice nice bulky painted metallic silver painted and so yeah i guess the one on his cape they're all attached we'll find out here shortly and then he does have his psycho punch effect which is a nice translucent purple and a nice detail and texture to it and it starts off i guess the tail end is more clear or translucent and then the front part of it is a darker deeper purple and this should just attach to his fist the way it's shaped on the inside 
like so. So yeah, just like that. It looks really good. All right, and then let's go ahead and remove cape shoulder pads. So here on that little card it says, start from the back of the shoulder pad, pull towards the front to unclip it. All right, so let's go ahead and let's try that here. All right, so taking a closer look at those shoulder pads, there's a base part and then it's the part that actually comes off. So if you can see, it's kind of hard to see. There you go. It's like two different tones. So this part is gonna come off just like that. There you go. And this one up and then forward. There you go. So they just wanna clip around the front and then wrap it around to the back. So that's what the shoulder pads look like without the actual huge bulky metal shoulder pads. So to put these on now, all right, left, all right. Go from the front, start from the front, hook it on, and then press towards the back. There you go. And then same thing with the right. Hook it up on the front first, wrap it around the back, and then just press down. There you go. And then just move them back into place. And then there you have them. M. Bison without the cape. But um, let's take a closer look at this cape though. So this is a soft goods wire flexible cape. Which for $25 for the figure itself and everything. That's a really good deal. So you know Jada Toys um, Ultra Street Fighter 2 figures. Best bang for the buck. Because you know you got competitors like Storm Collectibles. Who came out with their versions of... Street Fighter 2 figures a while back and they're like, what, 90 bucks at least around, give or take. But yeah, these have painted gold uh, right there where the uh, cape, uh, capes attach to the shoulder pads. And then once again, left, L, and then R. But you can't take this off anyway, so I mean, it's kind of obvious which side goes to which. So after going through all of his accessories, um, you know, he just has that one punching psycho effect now um you know he does have a lot of other moves uh one being the uh, psycho crusher where he, he kind of shoots himself like a torpedo kind of like raiden and he has that like light blue um effect going around his entire body as he shoots forward so we might be looking into that as a uh, a variant of m bison in the future having that effect and possibly having m bison as a um you know being a variant He's going to have the second player color skin to his uniform. So, you know, that's one effect that isn't included in this uh, action figure. But, you know, variants down the line, we might be seeing that um, soon. Hopefully sooner than later. But yeah, let's take a look at the figure itself now. And Bison, final boss of Street Fighter 2. So he's got that all red, like a crimson, dark red, um, like a burgundy. And you're just looking at the physicality, the large physicality of this figure. And we're going to compare it to like the, the rest of the line here. But he's got a nice bulky chest, arms, and legs. So this is, you know, a very unique character and, and, and mold and sculpt that won't be able to be reused, which is good. Just shows the uh, uniqueness of this character and figure. Got that, that blue collar. Going all the way down to the front. And then a nice uh, rubber black belt with the gold, which looks really good. Gold buckle. And, you know, it does not come off. And then the legs, same uniform color, all the way down to his two tone boots. It's really look good. The shin guards, actually, it's the shin guards. The shin guards. And these bracers, all the same color as the shoulder pads. Nice and shiny and metallic, and they look very heavy. And right here, they, they are not attached to the shin guard, so that's nice. So then you can be able to articulate his feet better. And then those big black knee-high military boots. And then we have peg holes on the bottom for stands. So now let's take a look at articulation. You know what, let's go ahead and switch out his head real quick. We have, that's the kind of joint 
we're working with on the top all right so there you go all right so tilting side to side really good all the way down all the way up shoulders nice big butterfly joints that have really good range of motion look at that now his arms will go up this high laterally you know um, it's about as high as it goes anyways but it's not really hitting the uh, shoulder pad and then you can rotate the, ar the arm pretty good but then um, you know the shoulder pads kind of get in the way and look at those huge biceps you got bicep cut right there double pinless articulation at the elbows showing good range as far as that goes side to side articulation on all four hands 360 all the way around we have an upper torso cut right here so he will be able to ab crunch as far as that all the way back up like that twisting all the way around which is good getting those all those poses and then articulation at the waist all right legs nice and bulky and all the joints feel good so far bison doing the splits Kicking all the way forward, all the way back before it hits his, his butt. We have a thigh cut right here. Double pinless articulation at the knees. And as you can see, that's how the, the, uh, the joint looks like when it's all bent. And then, let's see here. Okay, so boot or foot hinging all the way up like so all the way back which looks really good and then it's going to swivel all the way around all right let's go ahead and bust out the rest of the jaded toys ultra street fighter 2 action figures next to m bison for some scale comparison all right so there he is with ryu and evil ryu and you know standing right next to them you can see how much taller m bison is compared to these ryu figures Here's M. Bison with Ken and Dalzim. And now with Chun-Li and Fei Long. So the scale height comparison with Chun-Li um, shows really good. Much shorter than M. Bison is. And here he is with some other 112 scale villains. Um, Cobra Commander of the G.I. Joe Classified series and Black Series Star Wars Darth Vader. And here's a shot of M. Bison with all the currently released Ultra Street Fighter 2 action figures by Jada Toys. Enjoy some B-roll shots of M. Bison as we wrap up this review video from Jada Toys Ultra Street Fighter 2. M. Bison is out now along with Dalzum, so hunt your targets out there. Having the final boss of Street Fighter 2 out mid-game throughout all these releases, what a great call because, you know, it's something to look forward to with all the rest of the figures and just the, the huge physicality and size and weight of this M. Bison action figure compared to all the other releases currently right now. He just stands out and, you know, a great add to your collection if you are um, collecting these Jada Toy Street Fighter 2 figures. But yeah, M. Bison looks great from all of his accessories. We've got the Psycho Punch energy. Looking forward to a variant of M. Bison to show off the, um, the, Psycho, uh, the Psycho Crusher move where he engulfs himself in like a light blue or cyan flame as he shoots forward like a rocket, you know, resembling Raiden. But yeah, you'll have to play Street Fighter 2 to, to get to know what I'm talking about. But yeah, that, I, I feel like we're going to get variants of all these guys with extra accessories. So let's, I, you know, let's just hope Jada Toys is knocking these figures out of the park. I'm loving this M. Bison action figure. Feels very good. All the colors and details and sculpt is really good. So if you guys enjoyed watching this video, I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button. Leave all your comments and thoughts down below. Let me know if you copped an M. Bison locally yourself or through an online retailer. Let me know what you guys think of them. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell. And I'll see you guys next time.